listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is a chilly morning here in St. Louis, but it is warm enough out here, <laughs> not just because the uh, the weather and the sun coming up, but also because it's a fun day here at the Coffee Hour. We get to have nice, hot coffee this day, and I'd like to say it's in the studio, but no, we're outside we enjoying are. the sunshine and some great <laughs> friends as well. Our friends with Sacred Grounds Coffee are here, and uh, we're out by the coffee truck, so that's what you hear in the background. The coffee truck. The coffee truck. Yeah. The generators and everything, making great coffee. It's not as cold as it was the last time. Really? Look at this. No. I think <laughs> I only have cold. I only have one coat on instead of like <laughs> three and two hats and like five pairs of gloves. So <laughs> but we have great hot coffee and uh, other uh, specialty drinks this morning uh-huh. to uh, to warm us up. Thanks to Concordia University Wisconsin for supporting the coffee hour. You can find out more about Concordia University Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. It, as I said, it is a fun day because we get to meet with our friends from Sacred Grounds Coffee and the truck is here and the crew is here uh, with us joining us from our live broadcast booth out by a coffee truck. We have Bill Fankhauser with uh, Sacred Grounds Coffee. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for having us again. Absolutely. Thanks for bringing the truck out this morning and your great crew. And uh, if part of the crew this morning, we have Josh. Good morning, Josh. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you with us. And we also have Kara with us. Good morning, Kara. Good morning. It is so fun to have you guys here this morning, and uh, thanks for the great coffee. I already had a latte this morning. Um, I'm in the middle of mine. You're in the middle of yours? It's delicious. Excuse me while I go drink some (laughs) (laughs) more. For the listeners who aren't familiar with Sacred Grounds Coffee and the the, the story behind this, give us uh, a little bit of the history and what's going on with Sacred Grounds. Yeah, so uh, yeah, thanks again for having us. Um, Sacred Grounds was formed in 2019. And we uh, decided to, to start a coffee truck because we wanted to, to employ those with mental disabilities and give them an opportunity to do jobs that they normally don't get an opportunity to do, like cash register, or serving customers, because uh, we usually get thrown in the, in the back doing dishes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this was a great opportunity. Uh, we had a fantastic 2019. Uh, look forward to telling you more about that as we go through the, the, the interviews here. So Outstanding. So... Well, let's uh, let's meet the crew and learn a little bit more about them as well. Kara, how yeah. long have you been serving on the the uh, Sacred Grounds coffee truck? How long have you been working here? Uh, I've been serving our. I've been there for about a year now. About a year? That's great. What's your favorite? What's your job on the truck? Serving drinks and running the cash register. Outstanding, outstanding. And Josh, it's good to have you here. Do you have a favorite thing you like to do in the morning here on the truck? Um, cats want a chair. And, um, hang on a drink. Have mm-hmm. my friends. <laughs> outstanding. Bill, how has Sacred Grounds uh, made a difference in this time? You said it started in 2019, and you've been out and about. I see on your Facebook page you're out doing something every, almost every day, it seems like, <laughs> every week at least, for sure. Yeah, it's, 2018 was a really uh, exciting year. You know, we didn't know what we were getting into in May when we started, <laughs> and uh, we've been working with all kinds of different churches, um, municipalities, um, different um, different counties and different that we're in st louis county now again and uh so we yeah so, so we're making a difference in they're giving them an opportunity to work in these jobs that they don't normally get to do and and making friends and making uh, a difference at lutheran high and st charles mm-hmm. uh, the kids um that i've really bonded with our employees uh, on a weekly basis with those guys so we're actually going to be putting a um, support from them it's it's amazing yeah uh, how they've come out and helped us out so uh, we're looking forward to that um matter of fact they're even talking about doing a breakfast and maybe even supplying lunch to them if we can get our brick, brick and mortar going wow so it, it's a, a fantastic relationship yeah with the city of brentwood uh, we go in and did their christmas um holiday parties and uh they they were doing a, a program where they were expanding uh, and they had us come in and serve the coffee as they were doing their um, um, program so we've been all over the place yeah it's all over the place yeah what have these experiences been like uh for for the people who are able to work 
uh, in in the coffee truck. What has this experience been like for everybody? Yeah, so, so if you can imagine the, the smiles as you her chair, kind of her her excitement. <laughs> That's the excitement we do on a, every time we get a chance to meet with these people. They come in, they're smiling. We're smiling back to the customers. Uh, they're getting uh, a chance to to do things that that normally you know they they just aren't getting that interaction with the, with the crowd and we think that we're going to be able to take these guys and if, if they don't keep working for us they're going to find jobs otherwise mm -hmm. they're going to find out what these guys are really capable of doing oh. and how, how well they can do it working with your with people mm -hmm. outstanding i all i'm hearing is everybody wins i mean <laughs> uh with everybody who visits the truck gets great coffee or another specialty drink um but i also heard a coffee shop in a high school in a lutheran high school um who wouldn't want to go to a Lutheran High School to have a coffee shop? So uh, kudos to I mean, Lutheran High School. There. Lutheran High of St. Charles. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. That's a great idea. That's a win-win. Amazing. I mean, although the students being super caffeinated, that might make for an interesting <laughs> learning experience. Um, so what are some of the things when, you know, say like today, you know, folks coming out and enjoying the coffee, what it, what's served up on the coffee truck, uh, Sacred Grounds coffee truck? So we have, you know, your typical just regular coffee, like a lot of Lutheran drink. <laughs> but we also have the lattes, the macchiatos. We have um, smoothies. We have, we've even made a special menu um, for places like Lutheran High where they want to have chocolate milk. Uh, and they want lemonade and things that are simpler, uh, not such a heavy drink. But, yeah, we, we are uh, a Starbucks on the move, I, is the way I see it. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we, we really can provide all the drinks you need. And it's it, tell us about the process from from ordering to uh, the you know the, the customer receiving their coffee as well. Uh, we had a chance last time you were here to tour the inside of the mm -hmm. truck, which was pretty cool. But oh, that's cool. help us understand that that process and how you've how you've organized it to really make it uh, a, a great process for everybody involved. Yeah, so we've, we've been able to with Square uh, work through a, a perfect uh, menu that gives us pictures. So the kids, or, or I call them kids. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> right? um, kids but uh, yeah they have pictures of all the drinks and they can um, place those orders based on the drinks and they are on the pictures add flavors and things like that at the register those um, drinks are then um, passed on to uh, our our manufacturing or our order drink our processing and there's a screen up there so they can see what that order is and then they can make those drinks we have the ability these kids uh, guys girls have the ability to make these drinks um, it's not that difficult. It really isn't. And, and we've given them the tools that let them take that order, process the credit card. We, we try, I think we talked last time, uh, is that we try to go without cash because we have a problem with cash. Um, <laughs> we won't talk about it. <laughs> Sometimes I get information mixed up. Everybody came out with cards ready today. So, so we, we don't do cash because we can't count change very fast. Uh, so we do those kind of things, and then we can process the drinks. We get the drinks. They can hand them out the window with a smile, and they, and the customer gets the drink like they want in a very timely fashion most of the time. <laughs> now you mentioned uh, uh, moving forward with uh, Lutheran High School St. Charles, which is awesome. Uh, what are some other uh, plans for the future, exciting things happening down the road? Yes, so uh, that was timely is this meeting is though is we um we park our truck at a place called paul's donuts in st charles and in december they closed hmm. and we were not aware that they were closing but they're a good uh, lutheran family um bill and julie feld are, are just great people and they're trying to sell the business to us oh wow so we might become a donut and coffee <laughs> wow um, the only thing that's holding that up right this point is, is the funds. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it costs money to buy a business. They, sure. they need to sell and they want to retire. So mm -hmm. they're wanting to retire, but they're trying to help us figure out a way to do that. So we're, we're looking to, to raise about $150,000 so that we can buy their business and upgrade the building <laughs> to meet our, our needs from a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's, that's one of our, our most current and active things we're trying to do. Um, the sooner we do it, the better. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as every day you not selling donuts is a day that customers might go somewhere else for a donut, right? Yeah. Uh, but we know there's people looking and waiting for us to open this up. So uh, wow. we've got uh, a GoFundMe page up uh, uh, so that we can come up with the funds. Uh, we don't want to 
borrow the money as a 501c3. Yeah. We can't go out and get a small business loan. Right. We have to come up with the money on a private basis. So it's been a little bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, then we have Lutheran High that we're looking at. Uh, that's uh, an exciting program. Uh, so there's just so many things going on. <sighs> this year's the first time we've had the opportunity to actually uh, catch up. So last year we were so late in coming into the coffee or the truck business, we missed all the programs that were going on in the food truck opportunities and events. Mm -hmm. Well, this year we're ahead of the game <laughs> and we're booking up. And we're like you said, we're booked so many days. Right now it's a little slow, but as we get into the summer, we're booked all the time. We just don't have we're turning people away, unfortunately. <laughs> So apparently people don't want to stand out in 39 degree weather to get coffee, but it's worth it. It's good coffee. It's worth it. Well, it's, uh, you know, that's exciting to hear about so many opportunities um, and, and potential um, opportunities with Lutheran High and uh, with the, the, the donut shop as well. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for sharing about, uh, about the, uh, the GoFundMe page as well. So we can find more information on, uh, where can we find the information? Yeah. Facebook, other places? You can go to Facebook. Uh, we have our, our, uh, Saint, our Sacred Grounds website, our Facebook, and then our sacredgroundsstl.com website, and it'll take you to the fun, uh, GoFundMe page. Um, yeah, I mean, these, these are opportunities. Right now we have four employees. If we had um, a coffee shop inside with Lutheran High and a, a, and a donut shop slash coffee brick and mortar, all of a sudden we have 15 to 20 mm -hmm. employees instead of four. Wow. So you're going to drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> 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 well, that is that's outstanding. So there are more opportunities than it sounds like for uh, for young folks to um, uh, to to be a part of the program, and it, it, there, there's a potential for more opportunities, more positions on the truck or in one of these yeah, brick and mortar. As the truck's going, we're going to have more opportunities inside the truck. Uh, if we can get the brick and mortars and the situations, it opens up. Uh, it's amazing the things we're, we're, we're looking at. We're looking at making a kitchen that we could um, teach them how to cook. Oh, wow. and do some things within this facility. So there's tons of opportunities if we can if we can get this uh, Paul's Donuts thing done. The facility is is just fantastic for for the things that we might want to do, such as training for cooking, uh -huh. uh, training for all kinds of different projects and uh, types of jobs that are out there. So if um, if a family is thinking that this might be a good match for them, for a, a young adult in, in their family, I, I gather they can uh, check you out on, on Facebook or other places as well? Go to our Facebook or our website uh, and, and you'll find an opportunity. There's a place where you can um, apply mm -hmm. and then we'll get an interview and uh, go from there. It's just like any other job. You, you, you have to do the interview process. Right. We're always looking for more volunteers. Uh, so if there's people who are looking for an opportunity to give, um, it's, it's, a, it's probably the biggest blessing of your life is to work with these guys. Um, it just they're, they're just so much fun, and, and you'll get more than, than you're going to give out. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we have uh, just a couple minutes left here, and, and I want to ask Kara, um, do you have a favorite thing on the menu? Do you, do you ever get anything off the, the menu? The hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. <laughs> All right. Josh, what's your favorite? Soda. Soda. <laughs> well, I know that you guys are cold out here. It's nice and warm in the truck, and you guys are so gracious to come out here in the cold and, and talk with us this morning. And we are really grateful for your uh, your time out here and, and sharing your stories with us. Um, we have just about a, a minute or so left before we uh, we're going to pick up some um, check in with our friends in Tennessee and learn more about the uh, uh, the aftermath of the tornadoes that affected our friends in Tennessee in just a few minutes here in the coffee hour. Um, Bill, it, it, it's just it's so encouraging to see what you're doing with Sacred Grounds, and I hope that we can continue to share these stories and uh, and share more about your your plans and your hopes for the future, and continue to, uh, to 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 visit with you when you're when you're doing truck events and things like that here in the St. Louis area. Um, anything coming up in the next couple of weeks here in the St. Louis area where folks can come check you out? We will be in Cottleville for okay. St. Patrick's Day parade. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, we'll be um, uh, we're working with I Pilates there, uh, and we'll be sitting in their parking lot and serving from 6 a.m. till 2 in the afternoon. Wow. And, um, it's going to be a party, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> a coffee for St. Patrick's Day, huh? I, appropriate, I think. Do you have green coffee for that? I don't think you can make oh. coffee green. That would, that would just ruin it. That would be weird. That would ruin it. Oh. <laughs> we're thinking of how we might do an Irish coffee without a liquor license. Uh, there you go. <laughs> 
It's always green smoothies. Yeah, this, green that's green true. Green, green smoothies. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Yep. <laughs> well, Bill, thank you so much for coming out this morning, and I hope more folks will make their way out to get some coffee before you guys head out this morning. Josh, thanks so much for being our guest. Kara, thanks so much for being our guest on the coffee hour. No problem. You guys going to get back in the truck and make some more coffee? Yes. <laughs> All right. Bill, thanks so much. And uh, check us out. Check them out on uh, Facebook, Sacred Grounds with a Z. Yep, Sacred Grounds with a Z and sacredgroundsstl.com. Very good. Check it out. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. In just a little bit, we'll check back. We'll check in with our friends in uh, Tennessee. We'll hear with LCMS Disaster Response.